What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and today we're gonna be making a another wand. Um, this one was actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it was supposed to be for Mikachi. Uh, somebody recently asked me if I had made her a wand yet. I said no, but then I had shown her all the ones that I had, and she was just like, nah, I don't, I'm not really feeling any of those. But then I came up with a design that she actually liked. I don't know if she's gonna actually wanna keep this or not. It all depends on how it comes out at the end, if she likes it, because I kind of strayed away a little bit from the design, like I showed you guys in the previous video. I kind of adapt things as they go based on what I can actually make and sometimes my uh, my drawings are a little bit too ambitious. So sometimes it doesn't come out exactly the way I want it to, so I have to make little adjustments. Before we move on, there is some other news that I've been working on. Um, in the next probably couple weeks, I'm gonna be randomly streaming some little bits of things as I try to figure out the whole streaming situation, camera, audio, um, how I'm gonna set it up and stuff like that. So if you guys are uh, dedicated subscribers, you guys may have already seen the stream that I'm gonna be streaming right now. I'm gonna be streaming part of this, but that would be in the past when you're watching this. So it doesn't really matter, but look out in the future for possibly uh, me streaming out some different things that are gonna be coming up in the future. So let's move on to what you guys are probably here to see. Yes. Recently I drew this wand and I was like, all right, this one's a, a very detailed one. So I gotta, I gotta throw it on the computer, gotta trace it so I could print it out. And um, I, I, I kind of had to play around with the, with the size of it and the different shapes of it a little bit just to get it the way I wanted it to look. So basically what I usually do is I print out a couple of different um, shapes and things like that and, and I squish them a little bit or make them longer or make them thicker this way. As you can tell, these are all three different ones, same design, but just different proportions and stuff like that. Cause I try to find what's gonna feel better or what's gonna look better when you transfer it over to real life. So this is a good way to kind of plan out how it's gonna look print it out or draw it the life size if you're if you're trying to just kind of scale it properly to the size that you want. This was basically the final one. You know, you can kind of hold it and see about how long it's gonna be, how big it's gonna be, and if it's gonna be right. You can tell right here that it's extremely thin, which was kind of, um, I, I was kind of worried about it, but I actually went with a thinner piece of um, of wood that I, I literally went to Home Depot and I was just like, hmm, let me try to find some uh, nice wood here because the place that I actually buy uh, most of the like nice cool wood that I get um, is, is pretty far away. So it's like, I think it's like an hour and a half away. So just like, uh, I wanna get something done today. So I ran over to Home Depot, I was just like, hmm, I actually really like this, the, 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 the color of this wood and the, the grain that was on it. And I was just like, I think this will work. For this wand, I wanted it to be kind of very delicate um, and having it be thinner was easier to actually cut out the, the patterns um, that, are, that are on the actual uh, wand itself, which honestly made it a lot easier. If this was twice as thick like most of the other pieces that I have, my saw wouldn't be able to cut through it, or if it did, it would have a extremely hard time. I had, honestly, a hard time cutting it out of this, so um, it, I could only imagine how much harder it would have been harder. The hardest part was uh, sanding everything at the end and really getting it uh, to the finish that I wanted. I still want it to look kind of rough and a little bit um, hand carved and I, I didn't want it to be too perfect. Also, I wouldn't be able to get it extremely perfect, um, at least a, as of right now with the tools that I have and the skill set that I have. Um, so I got it to what I was happy with and I honestly, I think it came out pretty good. We're actually gonna be um, doing something and we're gonna be painting this, changing a little bit, a little bit of the color. And, and I know that uh, some of you are probably gonna like it the way it is or maybe a little bit if I just put a stain on it. It would probably look pretty good. Uh, I, don't get me wrong. I, I think it would actually look very good that way. But I want to try something a little bit different, a little bit like I did with the uh, the twin the twin wands that I made before the purple one, um, where uh, I'm gonna add some acrylic. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, dry dry brushing on it, and hopefully it comes out good. Um, I mean it 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 should come out okay. It should come out good um, and. Hopefully uh, you guys like it. Let me know down below um, if you guys 
want me to continue to make videos like this. And if you guys end up liking this video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and, uh, and, and all of that. Um, so let's get to uh, painting this, I guess. After I finished painting it, as you saw in the video, I actually went back and did a clear coat of an acrylic um, matte finish on it. After that, I went in with a pearlescent silver and gave it a quick little airbrushing just to kind of give it a, a nice little, little sparkle, a nice little uh, silver cool, hopefully, look. And the final product looks like this. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the finish on it actually looks really, really good. And hopefully you guys can actually make it out in the, uh, in the video, but there is a bit of a, uh, of a metallic look to it. I, I, I definitely think it came out, um, came out icicle-y looking, which was kind of the, the idea I was going for that. Uh, Mikachi actually said it looks a lot like the Corpse Bride, which yeah, it does. It has a lot of that, uh, that Corpse Bride skin color slash her dress is also like a white and, and this uh, cool blue color. Again, um, I, I, I'm very happy with the results. This is the first time I actually painted a wand completely. Uh, with paint and and you really can't see any of the grain. You can only see some of the the uh, the actual grain as in the the deeper parts of the wood as opposed to just being able to see um, the different colors of the wood. You can't see any of that, but you can see some of the little dimples from the wood, which in my opinion look makes it look a little bit more uh, like a handmade thing as opposed to just a um, a piece of clay or something like that. Uh, but I'm really happy with this and hopefully Mikachi likes it. I don't know if she's gonna want to keep it or not. And we also are gonna start doing a kind of a normal either weekly or bi-weekly or every other week. We haven't exactly figured that out. We're gonna start doing live streams more often. We did one this past week where I, I actually painted this live on the show and um, couple of you guys showed up. It was really fun and I really, I really enjoyed it and I hope that you guys continue to come back and we can make some more cool stuff together. And if you guys have any ideas for any live streams or future videos, make sure to leave them down below. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys uh, think it looks cool. If you guys have any creations of your own, make sure to leave a comment down below with a link or uh, tag me on Twitter or Instagram because I would love to see them. And also, let me know what you guys think about this wand and uh, there's probably gonna be some pictures up on Instagram and possibly Twitter of this if you guys wanna see some closer up shots and stuff like that. But I think it came up pretty good. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching um, and also, Check out those live streams, like I said. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye.